I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey. You're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? After everything we've fucking been through, you don't have the nerve to give me a straight answer. Oh god, Big B! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. <laughs> And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant, really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We are not friends, and you're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here, but your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now. Ever since I came aboard these shores, you know, Fable Town's been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Never said a bad word, and that relationship's worked till these ends. Just what are you talking about? I've just been left in relative peace, I think puts it best. Allowed to live my own way. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fable Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well moneyed. You're right that there's a conspiracy, but you're the one behind it. 
I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion, and I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him? Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Twiddledee, please. I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than a- That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but... In the interest of preserving our alliance. If you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just... Sit. Down. Now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. You piece of shit. I should have fucking known. Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one who. Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go! This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you, all fixed up. Done here. 
I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Hang on, I need a minute. Okay. Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff. Had to say goodbyes first. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. 
gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to help you here. Get out of the way. Now. No. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking... mean- ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. That's not my problem. Oh, I get it. When a pretty little girl shows up at your door wanting help, you've got all the time in the world. But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. <laughs> well, fuck you. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Dirty don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if Free Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. Wait, how is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? How could you do this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. 
Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really- Just shut up! Vivian, I'm not gonna kill you. I know that. Wait! I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them? Vivian, wait! I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian! Don't! Oh. Vivian! No! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Just... Jesus. Vivian! I didn't fucking mean it! I was just... <sighs> Oh. oh, fuck! Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Big B. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? <laughs> or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. I'm not sticking around for much longer. That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. What? You're just gonna leave me here? I won't be a killer, Georgie. You selfish bastard. Fuck you! Of shit.
Bigby Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you've finished, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> wow. What a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper?
Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow.